All right, we are almost there. Um, we're going to look into adding styling to these uh, lists. And I'm also going to um, cover a little bit more of this uh, inner selection concept that I was that I mentioned previously. So um, just a quick uh, reminder, what I'm, what I'm doing here is I'm selecting all of the A elements that are inside of a tile list class element. Um, now what if I, I, I have two types of elements that have this class. One of them is um, an unordered list and then the other one is an ordered list. So what if I only want to select the unordered lists that have this class? Well, then I type unordered list, that's the, the tag, and then dot tile list. So that allows me to select just the, uh, see how this is only being selected and not this one here. This allows me to select only the unordered list that have this particular class. But I don't want to select just the unordered list. I want to select the li, the list elements inside of that ul. Um, let me just show you what I what I want to do. Um, so I'm se so far I'm selecting this one, right? The ul element that has the tile list class. But I want to select the inner elements, and I already show you how to select the inner elements. So it's the same thing see that now it's only selecting the list like the inner the, the list the individual list elements and what I want to give those uh, firstly I want to it has to do with margins and, and that sort of stuff spacing that should all be clear now with um, regards to the box model and there's a property that I can use called list um, style type by default it was the one called disk that we had previously, but see how you could have other options like circle, and that's like an, an unfilled um, circle, um, and there's uh, some other ones that you can have, Arminian, I think I've used that one before, but we, we're going to go back to the beginning and have the disk, but we are choosing to have it, it's not the browser default, and if another browser has another type of uh, of a bullet point as a default one, we're still gonna have the disk in here. I want to do the same for the um, ordered list. So we'll select the ordered list that has the class tile list, and then we want the li elements inside of that. Just uh, like before, we'll add some. Th that's the same, actually, the same um, styling properties. And we are going to have the list style um, type. In this case, it's going to be the a decimal. That's numbers. Now we are um, we are repeating this um, twice. Uh, we're re we're repeating this in here. Um, I also could do it this way. I could have I could select all of the of, of the elements. For, from both lists, see how the elements from both lists are being underlined, and put this here so that we only have it once. When you're coding, it's always good to try to not to repeat things. Um, so see how now we select all of them and we give them the, the margins that we want, but then we select each uh, individual type just to give it the decimal. Strictly speaking, in this example, you could have done this in different ways. You could have just given a class to all the li elements and just address that class in here. Or you, you didn't have to have the two of them share the same class like we did it. But um, I thought it would be good to cover this, this part, the selection part as well, because sometimes you, you'll find this when you look at to CSS code, you'll find these sort of things. And it makes it easier if you've if you've gone through it at least once. Uh, so just to summarize, lists are uh, can be customized. Uh, they have different options for decoration, and uh, if you want to change that, you can always do it using a list uh, style type.